Hi everyone, it's me, Jeff Gott at MSWorkouts.com. And today I'm going to guide you through a steady pace adduction exercise that our members perform on a weekly basis to help them improve balance and alignment. Strengthening your adductors is going to add stability, strength, and functional capabilities to your hips. It's going to give you the ability to be more mobile, be more injury resistance, and who doesn't want those things? Now, before we begin, please hit that subscribe button. We've gotten some feedback from some of you on our YouTube channel about the fact that I talk too much. <laughs> so, some of you have voiced your opinions very nicely, which we appreciate, while others, well, let's just say we get the message. So today, I'm going to jump straight into the exercise, and then afterwards, I'll be going back over some frequently asked questions, and I'll also give you some information about how you can try MS workouts for free, a seven days free on us, for those of you who want to work closely with me and the rest of the team. So, grab a chair, grab a cold bottle of water, turn on your fan, turn on your AC, turn it down, not just on, uh, and let's strengthen those adductors. We're gonna execute a metabolic adduction exercise, which is gonna engage the inner thigh, a little bit of the hamstring, great exercise to help with that lower body strength and injury resistance. Okay, now if you want to, you can grab a pillow right now or you can do it with just your hands, all right? If you are going to get the pillow, all you simply do is fold it in half like Mrs. Elizabeth has done, place it in between the legs and you're going to use that to engage those muscles and press into. I'm going to use just my hands, I'm going to take the fists next to each other literally going to place them inside my knees and you're going to during this exercise focus on squeezing your knees together the entire time you want to feel the inside of the thighs engaged you want to actively work during the set when you can no longer continue with that squeeze you know you've successfully exhausted all right here we go everyone engage press into these hands if you have no pillow press into that pillow if you have the pillow now be honest with yourself not only give your best effort right now and really press into it, but when you can no longer continue and engage those muscles because they are successfully exhausted, that's a good thing. Grab your progress journal, note the time that you see on the clock so that we can be measured and get the most out of the experience. All right, now breathe freely, continue to focus on squeezing the knees together. You have to actively engage on this exercise. It's not gonna do it for itself. Breathing through it, we're going no more than a minute and a half. Think about focusing on pressing evenly through left and right. We know a lot of times one side is stronger than the other. You may not even feel it as much on one side. That's okay. Consciously think about pressing in. The other thing that you can do if you're using your hands is you can literally press out right now with your hands. And if you're not engaging and pulling in with one of the knees, it's gonna start to drift. So think about squeezing these knees together actively engaging these abduction muscles so we can get the most out of this set. Last 30 seconds, breathe in freely. You may start to feel a shake, a rattle, a roll. That's what exercise that is successful, exercise that's meaningful, exercise that's going to allow you to get results is all about. Breathing through it, calming that mind, actively engaged, no more than three seconds. Squeeze here, relax in the face and shoulders, and disengage. Woo. I <laughs> should have felt a deep burn inside. If you didn't get to the point where you could not continue with that same engagement, you want to make it more difficult next time. Make that notation in the progress journal. Whether that means a thicker pillow, a more dense pillow, you can grab a ball, create resistance, push harder with your hands, make it more difficult so that you get the best results. Perform this exercise two to three times a week and write down the time that you can no longer perform the exercise using the free progress journal PDF. If you want, you can actually download that free PDF progress journal in the description box below. The most important thing is that you take what your body will give you. Simply give your best effort. That's the only expectation. Whether you're able to go two seconds or 45 seconds, as long as it's your best effort. That's the most important thing. Write down your results in your progress journal, give yourself a day of rest, and then try the exercise again. Over time, you will notice that your times in the progress journal are increasing, and with that, your balance and stability will as well. Now, if you're able to continue and execute 
all the way to the end of the exercise, then you need to make it more difficult. Super important to realize that full exhaustion, challenging the body is the goal. Now, how do we do that? Add resistance, whether it's a resistance band or you can actually use your hands as resistance to press outward on your thighs as you're adducting through the movement. If you wanna get serious about your workout routine so you can improve your balance, improve your mobility, reduce your foot drop symptoms, decrease your spasticity, and just improve your overall body functionality, then go to www.msworkouts.com for information about our membership. Members get access to our weekly updated exercise classes designed by our team. They also get weekly live Q&As with me on our members only Facebook group. We also give you access to exercises for foot drop, weak grip, core, mobility, stretches to reduce spasticity and tightness, and so much more. If you want to try MS Workouts for free for seven days to see if we're the right fit for you, please go to www.msworkouts.com forward slash strength camp to sign up for our strength camp. It's completely free, and it's the best way to experience a small piece of what we offer for our members. If you enjoy our YouTube channel, then you're absolutely going to love what we provide through our membership portal. And please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. Remember, exercise is like brushing your teeth. You can't do it once and expect to see a lifetime of results. See you next time.